And now to the investigation into the crisis at the Capitol. The Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th attack has won a legal challenge brought forth by the Republican Party. And it got a legal backing for the legitimacy of the committee as well today. CBS 4's Skylar Henry is on Capitol Hill. A Trump-appointed federal judge has ruled against the Republican National Committee as the January 6th committee seeks data about whether the RNC's fundraising efforts after the 2020 election helped stoke violence at the Capitol. We're seeing protesters overcome the police. Judge Timothy Kelly ruled the select committee seeks reasonably relevant information from a narrow window during which the RNC sent emails promoting claims that the presidential election was fraudulent or stolen. Judge Kelly also rejected the RNC's legal arguments that the January 6th committee isn't legitimate, saying Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney serves as the GOP's ranking member, giving its subpoena legitimacy. The January 6th committee is preparing to launch public hearings, talking about its investigation next month. The other Republican member of the committee has some ideas about who should testify. Congressman Adam Kingsinger of Illinois tells CBS News he would like to hear from former Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, I would hope and think that the vice president would want to come in and tell his story uh, because he did do the right thing on that day. Uh, mm -hmm. If he doesn't, then we'll look at the options we have available to us if there's information we don't already have. Meanwhile, severe staff shortages made worse after the January 6th attack is forcing the Capitol to outsource some duties normally handled by Capitol Police. The head of Capitol Police announced contractors known as Capitol Security Officers will be used to free up the USCP officers to focus on their critical mission to protect the Capitol complex. Capitol Security Officers who are not sworn officers will be unarmed and will not wear police uniforms. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.